We love him so much. He's a he's a special person for all of us. You're not having second thoughts, are you, Pep? He's so nice. He's so nice. Is it because of the human being as as well as the footballer? Yeah, he helped me a lot. That's. It, it's been the challenge for you. You've had to do it replacing totems of this football club. We cannot, we cannot replace him. We cannot. Hello, 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 my friend. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my update on Mr. Roman Abramovich. Guys, we are done. Okay, we are officially done. Three beads are coming this week on his table. Okay, to buy Chelsea Football Club. And he's open to selling Chelsea because what the hell? You are not al allowed to come to England anymore. You invested a lot of money, created jobs and all that. At some point, he's going to say, you know what? I'm gone. Okay, stay with your country. I'm gonna go away with my money. So, three bids that will happen this week, probably the time that you are watching this video. Another news will be out, you know, telling you that the bid was submitted. I've already talked about the trustees that are considering to resign and all that. They don't wanna just like help the friends in need. All that man, a lot of uh, bad people here involved betraying um, Mr. Abramovich. That's what you got, man. That's what you got. Many people will come to you because you have money, but they don't really love you. In case of trouble, in case of trouble, they're gonna let you alone. They don't care about you. So we are done today. I'm gonna present you the first candidate that is gonna happen. He's from Switzerland. He's in the mod in the medical field. He got like five billion something like that, which is very little compared to Mr. Mr. Abramovich, who got like fifteen to twenty billion in his bank account. <laughs> Change money. So this guy here, if you go, if you are interested in a reading, because I don't want to give too many or too much details because people don't want to read. We don't read anymore. We just want to go straight to the point. Tell me what I want to hear. But if you're still interested in reading something, you can go on Google it. His name is uh, Hans, jo Hans Jog. Weiss or Weiss, I don't know how to pronounce it. And at the moment, I don't really care. I'm gonna learn how to pronounce it if he buys Chelsea Football Club. All I know is the dude is 86 years old. Hmm. Yeah, looks like a lot of passion is gonna be at the Stamford Bridge right there. Okay, so okay, all the jokes aside. Can you really believe that a 86 years old is coming to buy Chelsea for any kind of passion or love of football? No, he's coming to invest his money and get more money for his kids, his grandkids and his other generation. You know, this guy is just saving for his family, period. There is no love of football here. The dude is in the medical field. <laughs> oh my lord. He he's giving a lot of money to charity those here in America. So he's already Americanized. This guy is Swiss, but all his activities actually are in the US. Just read here how many university that he gave money and there are some prizes and some award on his name that he sponsors. Man, I don't know. I don't know, my people. I don't want to discourage you, but Mr. Abramovich, please don't do this to us. Don't do this to us, please. Sell the club to somebody who at least can, can have a little bit of passion 
of football, who can love Chelsea. Not exactly the way you did, but at least we got some kind of uh, a football man, right? But, okay, let me continue. So this is the deal here, right? 86. Very good age, to be honest with you. Wise, you know. He's a wise man. He's gonna tell you everything about life. But football, my brother, I'm not too sure. And he needs some other investors. He doesn't want to come himself because he only has five billion, right? He needs some other people to invest a concert a consortium. So he needs other people to invest money in order to make money. So don't kid yourself because you heard, oh, he's a billionaire. Billionaire for what? They are billionaires and billionaires. This guy is a small billionaire compared to Abramovich or compared to the people at City, at PSG, or at Newcastle. A billionaire with five billion is nothing compared to the term of billionaires. If that makes sense? Oh my world, I don't even know where to, to go with this thing, man. So, uh, let's see what Mr. Abramovich is going to decide. Take his money and <laughs> and expect a very tight budget for Chelsea Football Club if people like this comes with their money to invest because they are coming for money. They want to make money out of Chelsea. Abramovich never made money out of Chelsea. We own him like... 1.5 to 2 billion his own pocket money ever ever again we're gonna find somebody like that unless if we are bought by a state somebody from the middle east or from africa who got like crazy amount of money but individuals like that they come to invest their money to make money out of chelsea and i don't like kind of a group of people buying a club because the decision making is gonna be okay you have to consult such and such to make a decision and um, and it takes time to make a decision or to get rid of them it, it, it's a long process but if you have one owner like Abramovich you can deal with him you know oh man be careful what you wish for. I've been telling you people, enjoy Roman Abramovich until it lasts. Because it's not going to happen every single day. Nizar Kansela reported about, it, about that dude. I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce his name. But you know who it is, right? Anyways, <laughs> let me know in the comments. What kind of owner would you like to see at Chelsea Football Club? This guy is from Switzerland. He's Swiss, but he's officially Americanized. He's coming at Chelsea Football Club to make money. Nothing new here, okay? Chaloba has having some penis surgeries and stitches. I don't know. His wife or, or girlfriend won't be happy at all. But still, no red cards to anybody. That's that is another thing, man. I'm trying to to, to joke here so I, so I don't cry. <laughs> it's over, Chelsea, as we know it. It's over. So if you are one of those spoiled kids, you know that were spoiled all the time with a billionaire buying and selling and sucking. Good luck to you. It's time to start packing. Start looking for another team to support because only OG, only real supporters are going to stay with Chelsea because we're going to have very, very tough moment ahead. Blue is the color. Probably I need a drink. <laughs>